See the highway patrol in action again next week. Until then, remember, leave blood at the Red Cross, not on the highway. This is Bradley Crawford saying, see you next week. Around 70 miles into the journey, south of Bakersfield, Dean and his flashy new race car receive some unwanted attention. I noticed a race car of some type going northbound who seemed to be exceeding the speed limit. That was a nice machine he had. It was a beautiful car. It seemed like about knee high to me. It was a very, very small, low car. Yeah, it was strictly built for speed. Clocking them at close to 70 miles an hour in a 55 zone, Officer Hunter issues Dean a speeding ticket. I didn't know who he was. Uh, James Dean was the way he signed it, and I didn't know James Dean at that time. I'd never heard of him. I told him uh, he wanted to slow down a little bit to be sure to get up there and get in the race, and if he didn't drive a little slower, he might not make it because he was going pretty fast. And uh, apparently he didn't uh, heed my warning too much. Just over a week after buying his treasured spider, a prophecy is fulfilled. Dean loses his life. The cars collide at a Y-shaped intersection. The Porsche lands by a barbed wire fence on the side of the road. The Ford Coupe turns counterclockwise and slides 30 feet from the point of impact. Highway officers Ernie Tripke and Ron Nelson arrive on the scene at 6.20 p.m. I don't think that I've ever seen one car that was as, was demolished like uh, James Dean's car was in any of my accidents. It looked like it had been, uh, it had exploded. It's a very light car made out of aluminum and when it hit the heavier Ford, it just totally disintegrated. My first job was to uh, try to protect the scene. I put out some flares, and as I was doing that, they were loading James Dean in the ambulance. 